Hello, my name is Dr. Abdullah and uh, I am here to talk about formulating research aims and objectives, which is quite important for all researchers. Before I dive in, in, in this very important uh, aspect or topic, I would like to uh, discuss the importance uh, and the relevancy of uh, designing and structuring uh, proper uh, research aims and objectives. First of all, a research aim, or sorry, a research objective or a research aim informs the research, informs on, uh, it gives an informative uh, uh, position of which direction the research is taking. For example, uh, when we look at the research uh, objective, we can easily know that the researcher is taking a, 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 an approach, a, a given approach in research. For example, uh, you, you look at a research objective, you can see that it is more of exploratory, and therefore uh, it, it, the interpretivists uh, approach or epistemological philosophy is, uh, is what will be applied uh, and, 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 and it is more qualitative uh, where the researcher is setting out to explore uh, perceptions or attitudes and feelings on a certain aspect. So there and then we just understand that the data collection methods and procedures will be qualitative and we also know exactly the right tools that we will need uh, to correct the data to achieve a, such an objective. For example, we can easily know that uh, with such an objective, we entirely need to get qualitative data, which will easily be corrected through uh, interviews, interview, uh, interviews or through focus group discussions or through other aspects that are qualitative approach of data correction. Uh, so you know that you see that it starts with the research objective. Similarly, the research objective can also uh, give us an, informat an, an, an informative decision on um, how we will uh, review our literature. You know that uh, if we have very good uh, research objectives, we can now know the right keywords to use, we can know the right aspects of, and directions of uh, literature review, we can structure and uh, formulate and uh, put our literature review based on our research objectives, so it's quite, so quite important, also in chapter 2. Now when it gets to chapter 3, I've already said it gives you an informed decision on how to uh, select your data collection uh, techniques, data collection uh, and uh, data analysis techniques, data, cor data collection methods, and also to understand exactly uh, the right approaches and strategies uh, to use. Uh, now, when we get to chapter four, still research objectives are quite important because in chapter four, we get back to our research objectives to see how we are realizing our results and also how we are presenting our results. Because we have to ensure that our results are presented based on uh, the research objectives. And we are also informing our readers of our research concepts and thesis that we have achieved uh, the the, 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 the outcomes or the aims or the aim of our research. So we do this by research objectives. When we get to chapter five, which where we are doing discussions, we are doing conclusions, we are doing recommendations, you see that the discussions are also going to be guided by your research objectives. You need now to discuss uh, how you have achieved, how you have realized your research objectives and you relate this to literature, which aspect of uh, uh, literature contradicts your findings and which uh, aspect of literature is in line with uh, your findings 
that make you realize your research objectives. So all this gives us the importance and the relevance of formulating research objectives. Now we dive in. Um, when you we formulate research aims and objectives in an appropriate manner, we are likely to understand that it will give us a very important aspect in our research report. I've already explained this. So it's not something you play around with, it's something you need to be conscious as you are writing it down. And I keep advising that if you have um, a challenge on uh, to write your research aims and such objectives, it is quite important that you contact your your supervisors, your mentors, so that they guide you on this early enough of your research journey. Um, now, uh, when we have a very good research aim, we and it has it is achieved. It is an answer to our research question, and therefore, for us to achieve the research aim, we need to have research objectives. Now, the research objectives are those specific aspects that you divide uh, uh, from, you derive from a research aim and address each aspect separately. Now, we would like to know whether we know the difference. So, do you really know the difference between a research aim and a research objective? It's simple. It is that a research aim is that main purpose. It's one. There's one research aim and then several research objectives which are derived from a research aim to facilitate the achievement of that particular aim. Let's take an example. I have a very good example here. The, um, the effects of organization culture on business profitability, a case of uh, a case study of Virgin Atlantic. This is a, a topic or a, a research title. Now, from the title, from the topic, we are able to now to structure and derive, I mean, uh, and write our research aim. So we said to assess the effects of Virgin Atlantic organization culture on business profitability. Now you see that the research aim is entirely related to our research topic. The are key aspects we are picking from the research topic in order to be able to derive our research aim. Now, from the research aim, we can now derive specific research objectives. Now, the research objectives here, like following our example, uh, we have analyzing the nature of organizational culture at Virgin Atlantic by September 1st, 2018. Now, you see that we've picked a specific aspect from the main aim, okay, the research aim, and we isolate it so that we can realize it through the research process separately. Very specific. Now, we have another one identifying the factors impacting uh, Virgin Atlantic organization culture by September 16th, 2018. Then analyzing the impacts of Virgin Atlantic organization culture on employee performances by September 30th, 2018. Lastly, providing recommendations to Virgin Atlantic strategic level management in terms of increasing the level of effectiveness of organization culture by October 5th, 2018. Now, what is unique with this research of specific research objectives stated here? We, you realize that uh, we are specific. We are there is it, it is attainable, feasible. It is easy to analyze the nature of organization culture. It's attainable. It's a feasible aspect to do. But importantly, we it is time bound. So you see that you are able to specify the, the particular time you really need to realize such a research objective. So research objectives, like they say, are supposed to be smart. Now, that, that now gives us uh, a very good example. In my uh, other video, videos that will come up, 
I will try as much as possible to bring out uh, as many examples as possible so that we understand exactly uh, how to write uh, research uh, specific objectives. I would like to thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I, I see that uh, we are growing. I would encourage, I would like to encourage those that have not yet subscribed to me to do that. And if you find this content relevant, I request you to share it with the other research communities where we can keep sharing knowledge. Thank you so much and have a lovely day.